So yeah, so this looks like a hard one. So how are we gonna do this one? Um, yeah, let me think. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna show you a trick, guys. Um, here, let, look at this question for a minute. If um, I, I'm gonna have to go 11 times two comma two, right? Everybody seeing that? See what I need to do on this question? I need to go 11. This is, I need to add two comma two 11 times, don't I? Because this is 11 multiplied by two comma two, right? Yes. And that means I need to come over here and add two comma two, get an answer, and then add two comma two, two comma two, two comma two, 11 times, right? That's a big pain, isn't it? I don't want to add two comma two 11 times. Do you see what I could do instead? What if I switch the order like that? You know the order of multiplying doesn't matter, right? Three times four, four times three. You know, it doesn't, we, it never matters what order we multiply things in. You know that, it's, it, it can be switched. So what if I switch the order? Would that be easier? Yeah, I only need to multiply 1, 11, 2 times. I only need to add them 2 times. Way better. So if they put the lower numbers on the bottom. So let's do that. I'm going to switch this up. So I'm going to put the 2 comma 2 on the bottom and the 1, 11 on the top. So put the lower numbers on the bottom. So, well, here, let me, um, let me do the original question again. So... Rewrite, rewrite with the lower numbers on the bottom. So if they put way higher numbers on the top, you rewrite it to make it easier for yourself because the order of multiplying never matters. You know that two times three is six. You switch it around three times two is still six. It doesn't matter. We can switch the order and this will be way easier. So put the lower numbers on the bottom. All right, here we go. So I need to go two times 111. So I need to add the one comma 11 two times, don't I? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go one comma 11, one comma 11 and add them. And that's all I'm gonna need because that's two of them right there. Here we go. 11 and 11 is 22, but we can't have a 22, what do we do? Subtract 12, that leaves 10. And then you carry to the next column. One, one, one is three. So three comma 10. You can have 10 in just one place like that in base 12, can't you? We good there, so three comma 10, all right? So that means two, this is two times one comma 11, isn't it? I just added one comma 11 twice. So that's two times one comma 11. What is it? Three comma 10. And then what do we do? So this guy's done. And then we need to multiply by two again. What do you do first? Well, first you add a zero because that two is actually 20, not two. He's one place over. So you got to add a zero, to get one place over. And then again, it's two times one comma 11, which two times one comma 11 is three comma 10. 3 comma 10, there we go, add them up. 10 and 0 is 10. I'm going to run out of room here a little bit. There we go. All right, so um, 10 and 0, here, let me give more room to this. 10 and 0 is 10. We can have a 10 in one place, that's fine. 10 and 3 is 13. We can't have that, not in base 12. Subtract 12, that leaves a 1, a 1 in this place and we carry the one and three is four. So four comma one comma 10. Does that make sense? What happened there? Got to put the commas in base 12. Let me move it down so you can see it. So there, there it is. There's how we do that problem. 